All right, uh, let's look at the homework three, uh, problem number four. So uh, it says this, demonstrate a midpoint connector theorem. Uh, the statement is the segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and has has a half of its length. All right. So uh, let's do that. All right. So I'm going to uh, create a random triangle. So I'm going to probably use a polygon tool. All right. So you're going to have one and just uh, randomly pick three points. All right. So here and uh, here. All right, so you have a triangle. All right, then what we want to do is we want to find the midpoint. So I'm going to find the midpoint uh, here. So midpoint is, uh, so I'm going to do A and a C. All right, and I'm going to do B and a C. All right, so we have midpoint, and I'm going to connect them using a line segment. All right, so connect those. All right, so a good thing about this is that uh, if you don't like the triangle, you can always move it. So you can uh, click and drag and these uh, vertices and then create the uh, different triangle. But the midpoint is going to be uh, constantly adjusted. So if you have a different triangle, this is a still midpoint of AC and uh, this is still a midpoint of BC. All right. Then what we want to do is uh, we want to show that uh, these two uh, line segments, so third side and the midpoint connector, are uh, parallel. And uh, one, one way to do that would be we look at the corresponding angles are the same. So we can just do um, uh, angle uh, measure tool. So we have, uh, we go from uh, say B, A, C, All right? We got that. Then we're going to do uh, E, D, C, All right? So you can see that the angle is exactly the same. And even if you change the, um, you know, the move the vertices, and you can see that uh, these are all adjusted and uh, they are all, all, always parallel, All right? So I'm going to just to make it look a little bit uh, better. Maybe I'll put put it here maybe and put the C maybe over here All right. so I'm gonna just let's see get rid of um, some uh, actually we need to find the length too All right. so if you look at the length um, so I'm gonna go to the uh, distance length tool and then you can click on uh, here and you can click on here All right. you can see that uh, this is gonna be one half of that guy All right so uh, that's that and I'm gonna actually let's see I'm gonna get rid of uh, for example B we don't need that so I'm gonna uh, hide the label All right and hide the label of uh, A there All right here that looks a little bit better All right so you can see that the midpoint connector is uh, half the length of the third, third side and that they are parallel to each other because the corresponding angle here are exactly the same. All right. So I'm going to um, capture this uh, using a snipping uh, tool. All right. So we got that. All right. And I'm going to save it as. Oh, actually, I did that again. All right. I have to cap capture it again. And I'm going to save it uh, as uh, P4. All right. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.